Hey folks, it's Craig Natural Medic and Happy New Year to you. I am doing a short hike, hopefully Mount Roosevelt, located just outside of Deadwood, South Dakota. You can see I've got myself geared up here. I have my Outdoor Vitals a Ventus hoodie on. I have a warm hat. I've got a Shamog scarf around my neck. I think you can see where I parked here. If you're going to do this one, definitely park over there where they pushed out the little parking area. <laughs> this place is not open in the wintertime for driving up. And so we're going to see how this goes. This will be my first snow hike. Looks like some people have been up here. The hike itself, once you get to the trailhead, is about a mile around the top. There is a observation tower up there. Currently about 28 degrees. Underneath my Ventus hoodie I have just a thin layer, base layer, like a starter long sleeve, just to see how well the Ventus keeps me warm. Let's review for the Ventus and for me as a new snow hiker and just in general getting out on the third day of 2024. Let's go. Oh, we're about halfway up. My Govi is giving this for temperature and humidity. 30.8 Fahrenheit, 48.8. Adequate testing conditions for the, the Ventus hoodie. So far, I've been going about three-tenths of a mile up the hill here. I'm staying really warm. Only thing that's cold is my, <laughs> the bottom of my feet is a little bit cold. I did put plastic bags in my shoes because <laughs> I'm wearing regular hiking shoes and regular hiking socks. Try that old trick our moms used to do when we were kids. Uh, should work, no problem. Um, and anyway, best I can figure, I'm about maybe two tenths of a mile or so from the top to start the trail. This is just the road. Normally this road, as you can see, would be open during the summertime, but right now with the snow, they don't have anywhere to clear it out. The only people I saw get up and down here were some guys when I got uh, a little sideways on the road, let's put it that way, in a little mini snowcat for the Forest Service. They were up here doing some work or something and um, they were able to go through this with no problem. But any other vehicle, unless you've got a big Haas four-wheel drive, you're not going to make it. Park at the bottom. I made it 8.83 miles up the trail, or up the up the snowy road, just to see the, how, the, how the Ventus would perform. And I have to say, I don't feel overheated. I feel just perfect. But it is, I'll check the temperature again when I get down to the bottom of the hill, back to the truck. But uh, last time I checked, it was 30 degrees. I have on some... On one hand, the hand I'm not filming with, I have some North Face Wind Wall fleece gloves. Anyway, but I think I've successfully tested this. As I've been out here about 35 minutes. I'm certainly putting on a lot of heat from walking up this road. This is pretty much a straight up incline. I don't know what the percentage of the grade is. Probably about a seven to eight percent grade overall, I'm gonna guess. But I would call the Ventus a winner. It's gonna become a part of my kit on a regular basis now. But I think I'm gonna come back up here when my feet are not so stinking cold and I have warmer shoes and socks on. Anyway, I will give you a sum up when I reach the bottom. Thanks. I noticed this walking up the road, there's all these teepee-like structures of limbs 
Um, my guess is, being a forester, knowing a little bit about forestry, um, and knowing the history of the Black Hills as far as uh, fire danger, they might have raked this stuff up since it's a recreation area up at the top, which I did not make it to because of the snow. Maybe another time with some snowshoes. Possibly it's raked up for fire reasons. They can burn that in a more controlled situation or they can just consolidate the branches and litter from underneath the trees into more of a, I guess, centralized location. I don't know. Hey, a little tip for everybody. Don't eat the yellow snow. Ha! <laughs> Somebody went poo in the snow. Who was it? It looks pretty solid, so it's definitely not not a deer. It's some other type of creature. Um, it looked like somebody else had hiked up here. Um, maybe had a dog. So it could be dog poo. I don't know. Doggy doo. Scooby doo, where are you? Okay, right here, folks, there's some tracks. Because of the distance of the tracks, the shape of the tracks, like a long, narrow track, I'm going to say that's deer. Probably mule deer. We don't really have whitetail that I know of in this part of the Black Hills. I think on the other side, towards Rapid City, there's some whitetail deer. But over here, it's mostly just uh, mule deer. There's some more poop. I know I'm obsessed with poop in the snow, but this looks different than what I saw earlier, but it could be dog again. I did see some dog tracks. It could be coyote. There's a little bit of discolored ice there. It doesn't look like pee, but it could be. Anyway, I'm about down. Okay, in summary, was the Ventus warm enough for 30 degree temperatures? Yeah. Now it is 25 degrees. It is 64.2% humidity as of last I measured, which is when I got to the bottom of the, uh, the mountain right there, bottom of the hill. I felt warm. Um, probably could have used some bottom underlayer or thermal underwear type underneath my pants. Would have been a little bit warmer and of course with better shoes, I would have been better. But the Ventus itself kept my core warm it has good venting. I can feel the heat coming off in my pit area. It does have vented areas. I don't know how good you can see that. It does have a zipper here, so you can use that to manipulate some heat a little bit. It does have a hood you can put on, which I did not put on. I just had my hat on, and I was still warm enough. Really, the only thing I said was my, cold was my feet, and that's my own fault. And it started to get dark, so I turned around about 0.8 miles up the road, which I still wasn't at the trailhead. But I'll try it again sometime soon with my snowshoes and wear the Ventus again. I did have a backup. I had an Obeen fleece, a thick fleece pullover that I could have put underneath it if I got too cold. Had that in my backpack, but never did need it. So overall, I'm pleased. Outdoor Vitals, if you're listening, the only thing I would like in this would be some pockets. <laughs> and with the insulation and things like that, being as being able to ball it up in a really small almost tennis ball sized deal that could be an issue having pockets but I have pockets on my pants so not a big deal anyway long enough summary here hope you appreciate it if you like this video make sure to give a think about subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content like this and until next time I will see you on the trail